Hey, what's going on and welcome to today's video. I'm super excited to teach you how to begin some snowboard training at home with or without a snowboard. See, the mountain's difficult and chances are you're gonna fall down, but you need to be able to get back up. So I'm gonna show you some moves today that's gonna help condition your upper body and your lower body to squat, to sit, to stand, and to push yourself back up. Let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna inchworm push up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just stand tall, we're gonna walk it out, and we're gonna try and stretch our hamstring. So stretch the hamstring, get the hands, fingertip by fingertip to palm, we're gonna go into plank. Now when you lower yourself, don't shrug your neck and your shoulders, drop the shoulder blades back, lower your body down. And then if you need to, you'll use the knees and then push the hips and the body back up. But again, make sure that when you lower yourself down, you're not shrugging. So we use our knees, we push up, we press up, and then we're gonna walk it all the way back up to the top, inchworm, okay? One more time, we're coming down, stretching the back of the legs, walking the hands out forward, lowering ourselves down on the push up. And again, as we press up, make sure that you bring the elbows in, you squeeze the chest, don't round the shoulders, squeeze the chest and press back up. Or you can use your knees if you can't press back up, right? Use your knee, back to plank, and then walk it back to the top. Try and keep those legs straight. Again, when you're boarded up, you'll probably bend the knees a little bit and you'll push yourself back up, okay? That's the inchworm push-up. Next move, we're gonna get in a squat position. This is a reverse crab squat get up. When you're sitting back on the mountain and you're all strapped up, you're gonna need to be able to get up. So from here, I'm either gonna push myself up towards my left or towards my right side. This may be a little bit more difficult, so make sure that you have foam rolled your legs and your glutes and your quads and you're all loosened up and you've rolled out your lats and your shoulders because you're gonna feel it. So we're gonna literally push to one side and you're gonna push the hand forward and you're gonna get in the squat. Definitely make sure you check out my cover model body program when it's out because it's gonna have all the stretching and mobility video series that you need to help along with this. So, we're coming back up into squat and we're pushing your hand up. And then you're gonna go into a deep squat and you're gonna stand up. Coming from the other side, you're gonna push off the hand and you're gonna come back up. Again, I'm getting into that deep low squat. So again, to get into this move in the first place, we need to be able to deep squat. So we're coming down and we're sitting into the squat right here. I'm just dropping down, sitting into low squat and you wanna push your elbows against your inner thighs and push them out. Because again, when you're on the mountain, you might be sitting down and you're gonna be trying to push yourself back up. If you don't have the arm strength or the leg mobility, you're gonna to have to roll over. And so the trick when you're on your board actually is to get on your and then literally you're gonna just kind of scoop the leg and then over onto the knees and then you're gonna push back up. So we're not gonna worry about that right now because we're actually just gonna try and get up. So from here, we're in the squatted position. We're gonna push either with our left arm or with our right because going with both hands, unless you're very athletic, I mean, it's kind of tough to push yourself up unless you get into that deep squat. So I'm gonna lean to one side, hand down. Lean to my left, I'm rocking close, I'm pushing my hand, getting into the squat and coming up. Or I use the other side, use right hand, and I push and I push and I get into that squat and then I'm gonna stand on up nice and easy. That's what you wanna really master is getting up and down out of that squat because that's gonna help strengthen your arms and your upper body, okay? And then the last one, of course, is gonna be the conditioning drill. If you're falling or getting an up and off the ground and you wanna maneuver around the mountain and you wanna have good conditioning, you need to learn and get better at burpees. When I was training for the Spartan races back in 2016 for the first time, I had to do a lot of burpees because I ended up failing two obstacles. It was 60 burpees and it killed me. So if you get good at them, you'll be great on the mountain or in anything you do in life because it really prepares you for the world. So, you're gonna squat, you're gonna go back out into plank, you're gonna kick out, you're gonna hit a push up. If you can't press up, at least get the negative, 
drop the body down, use your knees. Push back up, back to plank, push into squat, jump up. Squat, kick the plank, drop into push up, press, back to squat, and back up. And we have our burpee. Again, all these moves can be done with the snowboard or without. And I'm gonna show you them with the snowboard as well because that's how it's gonna kind of replicate you getting on the mountain. And when I get into my second video, that'll show you your balance, your stability and board control, all this is gonna make more sense. All right, and next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you with the snowboard and we're gonna get into our boots, we're gonna get strapped into our bindings and I'm gonna simulate every single exercise you just saw here. Carlo, you gonna help out today? <laughs> all right, so once you're all strapped in, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. We're gonna get set up into our bindings. And again, it's good to practice this. You don't have to do it all the time. If you have the ability to actually get to the mountain, that's actually gonna be more important because you'll actually be able to snowboard. Uh, but if you don't have close access to the mountain, it's a good idea from time to time to practice these little things because that way you're gonna get stronger and you're gonna get better. You're gonna get more efficient and you're gonna be able to handle it. I'll tell you, when I first started snowboarding, my quads, my shins, they were just completely blown out. So it was super huge and important that I did a lot of conditioning drills to prepare my quads and prepare my shins for all this abuse. Now, we're ready to go. So as you can see, even me just moving around here, it's gonna, it's gonna work my shins, it's gonna work my quads and my calves. Again, this isn't gonna be the tutorial of how to set up your board and your stance. You wanna find that stance that's right for you and we'll play around with the bindings at some other point. But this is just kinda of getting comfortable in this movement here, okay? So I'm in my board. Again, number one, we wanna be able to squat and we wanna be able to sit into it. Now, if you don't have your balance just right and you sit too far back, you're gonna fall back like that. Now, I'm gonna get into this reverse crab in a second, but when I have to push back up, a lot of people can't do what I just did. That's actually really hard. First things first, we have that inchworm push up. I'll back up just to kind of show you real quick. So I'm gonna come down into my hands. And again, I'm gonna bend at the waist. You can bend the knees a little bit if you're on the snowboard, but you wanna try and bend down and reach your hands towards the ground. And then you're gonna come out into push up. Why? Because a lot of times people get to their knees but if you can push back up to your hands, and trust me, it's gonna be way more difficult in the snow. And you can come back up to the top, it's gonna to help you out a lot in the snow. Snow is a lot harder, so you better practice these moves here while you're a little bit stronger. And again, I'm just making sure this is nice and tight in here. I didn't secure it all the way. But again, when you're just doing the training, this can be a little bit looser than you normally would be in the mountain. Now going back into it, if I wanna squat a little bit more and use my hands, it's kind of cheating, that's fine. This is almost like a modified bear crawl push up and I'm back into squat. This is how you're gonna be getting up and down if you fall flat on your face or if you fall down onto the ground, okay? Now, stretching out the hamstrings, we can hip hinge and bend at the waist, walk the hands out, we're gonna push up or use our knees and push up and then keep good form and then we'll come all the way back and then get into our board right here. And that's our inchworm push up. we have the squat reverse crab get up. So this one, this is for when you squat too low or you fall down on your back or you're sitting on your butt and you need to come back up and you don't feel like rolling over. You want the strength to do this because you're gonna be doing it repetitively and these quads are gonna get smoked. So I'm squatting and I'm pushing my elbows and my knees out. This is a good stance. You don't want your knees caving in too far. Again, these bindings will help you, but you wanna have those knees out. Bring the left hand back or the right hand back and we're in this position now. Okay, and so I'm either gonna use my left hand or my right hand. If you're trying to use both, it's kind of hard. I like to lean to one side. As you can see, if I lean to my left, I'm gonna move my hand twice and then push up. Or if I'm on my butt, back up again, and I got my right hand, I'm leaning to one side, one, two, and I'm pushing back up into squat and I'm back up. Last time I'm down onto the ground, I'm back, I have two hands, there's gonna be one side that's a little bit stronger, but I like to try and be ambidextrous and just use both sides to get strong with both arms. And we're pushing up into this movement. 
Again, I make this look easy because I've done it hundreds of times, but this is really hard. And especially if you're going all day in the mountain, you're gonna get worn out. So you wanna get that one. Last one is our power. This is our burpee. This is our explosive movement. When you fall or you're down on the ground and you need to get back up, you wanna just explode back up and get going because sometimes it's a lot harder to actually push yourself back up and you're straining yourself more. So again, you're here, hands down, kick, push, boom, back up, and then you're back up, okay? Now, I don't recommend doing this on hardwood floor, please. I would try it on your carpet or if you're in a studio like this, this board, I'll be able to, uh, you'll be able to kick out a little bit easier. So if I wanna keep this onto the mat, I may come out and I'm here in the push up and then I'm gonna press back up. You just wanna get comfortable squatting, hand planting, or here, you're kicking, dropping, pushing back up, and you're coming back up to the top, okay? You just wanna get that simple move. Again, we're gonna tie it in one more time with the inchworm. So it's a squat, I inchworm out, I push. I wanna be able to explode out and back up into this movement here. I really wanted to get this video done today because it's gonna piggyback off my next video I'm gonna release when I'm at the mountain and I'm gonna be showing you stability, balance, and board control and how to maneuver on there. And all these tips that I showed you here today is gonna to help you get ready so that way when you get to the mountain, you're gonna be set up for better success. Stay tuned, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. You let me in, let me in, yeah.